Detecting the tertium quid. The truth be told, the architecture of thought we witness in the modern African experience can only be described as the harvest of domesticated beasts of birding trained to serve other human beings. This is what W.E.B. Dubois, the first African-American graduate to bag a doctorate from Harvard University, described as the tertium quid an undefined and indeterminate third thing in between two known quantities as penned in his book, The Souls of Black Folks. The Negro is there defined as that tertium quid between cattle and mankind. The 54 nation states and 10 dependent territories of the modern African experience will continue to be an embarrassment to the human race unless we kickstart the thinking process all over again to detect and decode the program that produces the Tashum Quid. We must humble ourselves to admit that the consistently predictable failures that Africa presents century after century, decade after decade, are just not consonant with the potentials invested in humanity and the ingenuity associated with mankind. All external efforts to assist Africa are doomed to fail, no matter how well intentioned they are. And most of the toxic aid we receive are an integral part of that arcane program. Our chain of failures will no doubt continue until Africans learn the secret of programming that produces fractals. When men are programmed to behave like beasts, there is very little progress that can be recorded. Until great value is restored to human worth, we must not talk about civilization in any measure because this is what separates men from beasts. Just reflect on this for a few minutes. Have you ever seen beasts gather together to discuss the dilemma when a farmer selects five cows for the cooking pot? and leave 65 in the pen. Look around you and check whether you have gotten used to the chaos, disorder, dirt, filth, and decay. Do the dogs in a compound ever get together to do a sanitation exercise to keep the yard clean? There is a clarity of thought that separates men from beasts, and Africa needs to start thinking clearly again. The pertinent question of the hour in Africa should be how we can stop an expanding symmetry of failure and the mathematical set that empowers it. Oh.